Who, think about it, who is the last person who should ever be a public speaker? <laughs> Someone with Tourette's syndrome. Okay, so over here, what makes you just go, oh no, this sucks, man, what's going on? Public humiliation. Public humiliation. <laughs> Come with me on stage. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, by the way, how many times have you ever been to one of these sessions and you said to yourself, this speaker sucks? The information is boring, it's monotone, it's got no relation. Everything we're going to learn today is based on honesty, integrity, and truth. I want to be an airline pilot. I flew solo. Imagine if I'd been successful. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to United Flight 54 from Los Angeles to New York. Today we're going to be flying at an altitude of 28,000 feet, then go down to 14,000 feet, then over to 7,000 feet, then rapidly right back up to 32,000 feet because our captain has Tourette Syndrome. We've done this over the last 10 years across North America. We've done it in Amsterdam, we've done it in London, in the Bahamas. We even took this information to Sri Lanka about five years ago. And these are the words which come up all the time. Liar, cheap, pushy. These are the words that come up when you think you're getting sold. <laughs> Try it. Don't, don't hurt the person in front of you. Just go, try it now, go from your left, and go, put it in reverse, honey you're not going to believe what happened, luckily I got them in front of me, who here wants to take 20 minutes off your commute? Oh and you knew I was going to do that. Is that's it. Take all that negativity out of yourself. Rub it all up. And because it's just like Tamatina, think of this as a tomato. And now just whack the living crap out of someone close to you. Can you hit me? You're a bunch of girls. You throw like girls. Oh, you're half girls. Is that it? Is that what you can do? Throw it at each other. Yes. Oh, hey, good one. Now pick them up and throw them again. Yes, good. Lovely. Excellent job. Fantastic. 1,200 people throwing pieces of paper. Now why don't you get... Why don't you take that back and put it into your office at 9 o'clock in the morning when you're making the first phone calls? Keep it going, keep it going. Are we serious? I want to hear more. More. How about some people standing? Yeah. Get into it. Oh. Okay, she missed my face. Okay, so why don't we do it again? You throw like a girl. <laughs> okay, now everybody say, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, perfect, bang on, good shot. The beautiful thing about this is, is that this, if you can get rid of this, watch out, because your life will go to another level. And maybe what the best way that we can really take ourselves to the next level is give our little inside, uh, chi our inner child a nudge. Or maybe we can take that rookie and help them get to the next level. What you're gonna do is you are literally gonna rely and lean back on all of those negative beliefs that you picked up, all those uninvited voices, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna rid your life of the potential that you can go to. So the tools I'm teaching you today are based on honesty, integrity, and truth, and everything that I've committed the last 10 years to this core program because these are the tools which keep me sane. And by the way, uh, just this week we signed a deal to go work with Coca-Cola. Not too bad, the little twitch that could. You just need to figure out what the twitch is inside of you. Who here commits to trying the thing and driving to work with a nose and positively traumatizing someone? You'd be amazed what will happen. <laughs>
It was such a getaway from the normal type of curriculum that I find for continuing education. It um, gave me some insights into how I manage people, how my people interact with me, and just really gave me some great insights that I think I can take back to the workplace and use.